What's going on guys and welcome to the very first episode of my FIFA 23 Summer Career Mode. Yes, this is probably my final career mode project of FIFA 23 and I'm really looking forward to this one as well. I felt as though it was time to do another RTG, another long-term project and also go for a foreign club as well. And I've decided to go with Como 1907 and I'm so excited to use this team because they are an amazing, amazing RTG side to use in the Serie B, the second tier of Italian football. So briefly, uh, Como 1907 in recent years have become a lot more well-known and a lot more marketable as well. Uh, they were taken over by an Indonesian-backed consortium and their president, this is bizarre, their president is is Dennis Wise. Yes, for those of you who may be of a certain age, you'll know Dennis Wise. Dennis Wise, a bit of a Chelsea icon, if you will. He was also player manager for my team for a few years, Millwall, when he uh, led us to the FA Cup final back in 2004. I think he was the, f the last uh, player manager to lead a club to an FA Cup final, I think. But uh, yeah, Dennis Wise is the club president. And you might have seen recently at the start of last season, Cesc Fabregas actually signed for the Serie B club as well. Now, you might be wondering, if you don't know too much about Italian geography, why Como? Well, Como, based in Lombardy, northern Italy, is a beautiful, picturesque place. It's absolutely scenic, it's absolutely glorious, and of course it has the famed Lake Como as well. It borders Switzerland just to the north, in fact it's about five miles away from the uh, Switzerland border, so it's very very close to Switzerland. It's a really marketable club, and I do believe that in a few years time we could well see this club with enough backed investment possibly playing in this area. Just a couple of years ago, they were in the uh, the Serie C, and I think not long before that, they were in the Serie D as well. So they've really risen up the Italian football pyramid in recent years, mainly due to the investment of the Indonesian consortium, of course, and the popularity the club is now gaining uh, as well. So, uh, yeah, I decided to take over with Como, and what I thought would be really cool is to try and make this team a really, really young Italian team as we look to build this club up for the future doing this RTG. So my transfer strategy with Como, an RTG, a club with very little money, just a £4 million starting transfer budget, is to sell on the old guard, bring in some good young Italian talent, but also pick up some players for our youth academy as well. Now, if you're new viewers to the channel, then firstly, hello, welcome. My name is Docs. I've been doing FIFA career mode videos since 2013 and FIFA videos in total since 2011 then you will learn very quickly that youth scouting is something I absolutely love. I love youth players. I think they are, uh, you know, players that can make the save unique and make it your own. And with this save, I really want to put a good amount of emphasis on a strong youth academy. Como don't have much money and I want to try and give this club an identity because at the moment they don't really have one there's a load of average players here most of which are actually a little bit senior if you will there's not really a lot of young talent i want to change that i want to make como the breeding ground in italy for young italian talent but also looking at neighboring countries as well such as switzerland just to the north of lake como um, so after selling a couple of players here, we did decide to make our first signing with Como. The first season, like I said, we got very little money to work with. So we we know we can only really bring in like one, two, three players at most. But I had a few young Italians on my shortlist. And this was the player that I really wanted. Ibrahim Abamba uh, playing for Vittoria Guimaraes in Portugal right now. This guy looks like a fantastic centre-half. Now, at six foot, he's not the tallest of centre-halves. You know, I normally like my centre-halves to be very, very tall. I'm quite old school like that, you know, six foot two and plus. But six foot is tall enough. He can also play holding mid as well. And he looks like a really comfortable player on the ball as well. So with this Como side, we're probably going to stick with the formation they're currently set up with, which is three at the back. 
Now, I'm not very good with free to back systems. I'll be honest here, I tend to get exploited quite a lot because I do play a quick counter attacking style of play and like to go down the flanks as well. So, not having full backs or wing backs can be really tough for me. But I do want to try and stay with the formation that Como have free at the back, 3 4 1 2. And uh, yeah, Ibrahim Abamba as a ball playing defender as an RCB, I think would do really well in this team. So, just 20 years old, young Italian. Like I said, great energy, really good passer of the ball, low medium work rates, good jump to be fair, despite the fact that six foot he's not a giant if you will but I want to get the strength up and the defensive stats as well and turn this guy into an absolutely fantastic physical uh, defender in my back three so yeah that was the first signing I made uh, with Como and like I said the Youth Academy is going to be really, really important to me in this save. I really want to get in some great young Italian players through our youth setup. Like I said, because of the lack of budget here with Como, we can't really get the very best scouts. Unfortunately, we're not going to have three five-star, five-star scouts. So... After the signing of Bamba of just over 3 mil, I had to get one a little bit worse. Lorenzo Castiello, who's a four-star, four-star Italian scout. We sent it out to Italy for nine months, and hopefully he'll pick us up some pretty decent young players. Like I said, we, uh, we, <laughs> we're not going to be able to bring in the best young Italian talent in the game through the transfer market. So we're going to have to try and create our own or bring through our own, I should say, through the Como Youth Academy. So I don't know if Como even have a youth academy, to be honest, but they do now. We've, uh, we've decided to change the, uh, the infrastructure here and bring in some good young talent through the academy. So we also sold uh, Gabriel Oni. Uh, this is a, a veteran striker. I think veteran striker or a late 20 striker. Uh, he's going to go to Kilmarnock uh, in Scotland as well and we had our first scouting update as well uh, from Italy too. As you'll see we got a couple of players that could be okay I would say but not great but of course in this Como team it is relative we don't really have much quality here we're a three star team so we are one of the better teams in the Serie B and of course we will be targeting promotion in the very first season but with a four-star, four-star scout, I've mentioned before, like, really when it comes down to youth scouting, you need the very best, I feel. I mean, judgment is, of course, the uh, the most important uh, stat, if you will, or attribute uh, when it comes down to hiring a youth scout, but you're not going to find really anyone decent with like a one star, one star. So there's not, there's not really much point in having a youth scout unless they are four star judgment at the absolute bare minimum. I feel you, you're very rarely going to find a needle in the haystack or a diamond in the rough is probably a better way of putting it with a really poor youth scout. Having said that, we do have one poor youth scout here already, a, a two star, two star scout. So I thought, well, if you've got one, we might as well use him. And I've sent him out to Switzerland. So again, with Como, like I mentioned, what I really want to do is make sure we kind of stick quite close to home in the very, very first season. I mean, we're a club with limited resources. We can't really go and set a youth camp up in America, for example. So it's really important to make sure that we try and get homegrown players. So, of course, really sticking with Italy primarily, but also Switzerland as well, because Como is, of course, right on the border of uh, Italy and Switzerland. Again, for the very first season, my plan with Como, simple, get them promoted to the Serie A. And as I've mentioned many times before, like when it comes down to doing RTGs, if you're managing in a second tier or below, you should really be targeting for promotion in the very first season because the quality of the teams you face isn't going to be too high. We're not the best team in the Serie B, no doubt about that, but we are one of the stronger teams, if you will. Definitely a, a top six, top seven team at minimum, I would say. So in the first season, we don't even make the playoffs. We've let ourselves down, no doubt about that. But of course, we were looking for young talents in season one and looking to sell on the old guard. But speaking of old guard, for the first game of today's episode and the first game of the season, we were taking on Palmer away from home and Gigi Buffon, is still going at Parma. So taking on a uh, an Italy legend in Gigi Buffon between the sticks for uh, for Seri B Parma here. I do quite like the idea of getting a few old Italian players and possibly a few just old senior players regardless that have had some kind of stature in the game. For example, I mentioned earlier, you know, with Como, Cesc Fabrega signed for Como last season. I don't know if he took a minority ownership stake in the club. He might have done, but I do quite like the idea of getting, like, you know, a couple of, like, marketable players because, like I said, Como is now a marketable team. Not only they got absolutely beautiful kits, absolutely glorious kits, but also, like I said, because of the location of Como, it's a really popular tourist uh, destination, retirement destination. 
especially for uh, for celebrities as well. Like I said, it's very very picturesque. So you know, we often see older players go to kind of really nice scenic destinations in their final few years, like Cesc Fabregas did last season. So I do quite like the idea of bringing in a couple of like sort of well known players over over time, maybe one per season, perhaps from season two onwards. But, you know, well-known players for like a retirement year, you know, they come in for a year. We don't expect to get much out of them. They're on the downslope and then some by now, but they're here to raise the profile of the club as well. I'll be honest here, I didn't even know Como had a football team before Cesc Fabregas joined last season. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be totally honest here. I've been watching football since I was six years old. I didn't even know Como had a professional team until last season. I didn't know that, I'll be honest. But I do now because of Cesc Fabregas. So I do kind of like the idea of older players that have had stature in the game, raising the club's stature themselves uh, due to their marketability and their profile within the game as well. Um, so as deadline day would come round, uh, as you'll see, we made a sale here and I did decide to try and make one or two more final signings. Like I said, there was quite a few Italians that were still on my shortlist here with good young talent I wanted to bring in. One of those was actually an American-born uh, youth Italian international, and that is Luca Warwick. Coliosho, uh, 17 years old, playing for Espanyol in La Liga right now. And we managed to pick him up for under the valuation because he has his contract up coming the end of the season. So Espanyol, not sure whether to give him a pro deal or not. Well, I said, how about this? We'll give you a minor sell-on clause plus a little bit of money as well. £800,000. And you won't have that headache of whether you give him a pro deal or not. We'll give him a pro deal here at Como and try and develop him for the future. So yeah, Luca Warwick Coliosho is my second sign with Como. Just 600 quid a week there, but a, a very small transfer fee and contract for a young Italian talent 65 rated to begin with but just 17 years old this guy does look really decent the only problem is he's a left midfielder he's a winger but of course in our system we like him to be a little bit more physical and defensively sound as well when you play a three at the back system you want to make sure that your wide midfielders your lms and your rms they're strong they've got def good defensive stats they've got a lot of energy as well this guy doesn't have any of that. He's got 55 stamina, which isn't great. His defensive attribute for the collective is 29. And he's not very strong. So, yeah, I, I definitely will play him. But I think mainly he's an impact sub in, in Season 1, I would say. Possibly as an inside forward or uh, or maybe even leading our line as well as part of our front two. So yeah, uh, Luca Warwick is in regardless. And my final signing of the window with Como on deadline day was uh, Wisden Amy of uh, Bologna. This is a young 17-year-old, 61 rated, uh, and we signed him for 400 thousand pounds so yeah our third signing once again another young italian talent here coming in and again just 17 years old very small contract 350 quid a week but he's just here to be a squad player really we've got actually quite a lot of center arse here to be fair but again playing a free at the back system we we want some good young defenders to develop for the future this guy shows great potential just like ibrahim abamba 10 ratings lower but already to be fair he's actually got some pretty decent defensive stats six foot two and he's got 71 strength with 71 jumping as well so so long way to go to that young age and that rating as well the defensive stats and the physicality so that's pretty solid to be fair for a 61 rated player at 17 years old he can certainly hold his own at least in the very first season in Serie B so that would do it when we spent practically all of our money on our new three young Italian players Ibrahim Abamba who will be a starter in this team Luca Warwick off the bench and Wisdom coming in as a backup squad centre half as well as I mentioned with Como we got very little money so this is going to be a classic old school docs RTG as we rebuild this side give them a new identity of bringing through young Italian talent, mainly from the academy, but also bringing players in as well and able to rise this club's stature off the field with marketable senior players as well. I'm really excited for this. It should be a great fun RTG. Guys, thank you so much for watching the first episode of my summer career mode. If you've enjoyed it, then please do drop a like. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic day. And I will see you for the next episode of the summer career mode with Como 1907 very soon.